CAAPM Clustered Environment Support Agent Load Balancing In a clustered environment, an enterprise manager serves as a manager of managers, or mom, managing the other enterprise managers in the cluster. The managed enterprise managers are called collectors. The mom distributes the metric count among the collectors by disconnecting participating agents from overburdened collectors. The disconnected agents reconnect to the mom, and then they are redirected to underburdened collectors. This helps in balancing the agent metric load. The steps to install Enterprise Manager Collector in a cluster environment are Step 1. Install Manager of Managers Step 2. Install Collector Step 3. Configure Mom and Collectors respectively. Let's start the installation process. Double-click the CA Interscope installer file to start the installation. Prior to the installation, ensure you install the Java Runtime Environment on your system. The introduction screen of CA Interscope installer is displayed. Click Next. Accept the license agreement. Next, select Complete Installation to install all the Interscope components. Specify the location of the installation directory to install the files. Specify whether to configure JVM settings for Interscope components during the installation. If we select Yes, then we have to specify the JVM settings for each Interscope components that we wish to install. Let's select the option No. This allows us to configure JVM settings manually. Specify the location of the external components package. This installs and runs the Enterprise Manager and WebView. Accept the terms of the End User License Agreement, and then click Next to continue. Specify the Enterprise Manager Connection Port and Web Server Port. Here 5003 acts as an Enterprise Manager Connection Port, and 8082 acts as an Enterprise Manager Web Server Port. Specify whether this Enterprise Manager install will gather and update user passwords. Select Yes to provide the admin and guest password for the Interscope, where the passwords are encrypted in the user's XML file. Specify the admin password to log into APM. Specify the guest login details for APM. Specify whether this instance of Enterprise Manager will participate in a cluster. Let's select Yes and then click Next to continue. Select Collector to make the current Enterprise Manager as a collector. The collector participates in the clustered environment communicating with the Enterprise Manager mom. The Enterprise Manager automatically stores the transaction trace data. Here, we need to specify the number of days we wish to store transaction trace data. Let's enter 14. Specify the directory to store the trace data. This allows CA Interscope to store the transactions and the length of time to keep the data. Next, we need to specify a directory for Smart Store and Thread Dumps. By default, the directory name is Data, and the Thread Dump directory name is Thread Dumps. A message window is displayed to confirm the Enterprise Manager data storage settings. Click Continue. Select the monitoring options that we want to enable. In this case, we select CAAPM Integration for Application Delivery Analysis and CAAPM for Web Servers. This provides an end-to-end -end application response time monitoring. Select the SOA monitoring options that we want to monitor. This monitors and manages the complex SOA environment. By default, CAAPM for SOA is enabled. Specify whether to configure the Enterprise Manager as a Windows service. If the user wants to start the Enterprise Manager as Windows service, select Yes. Provide the unique service name for Windows Registry and unique display name for Windows Control Panel for referring this Enterprise Manager as a collector. Review the pre-installation summary. The Choose APM database page is displayed. Here, we choose to deploy the APM database on PostgreSQL. Select Choose an existing database. 
We select this option as Enterprise Manager Mom already has a PostgreSQL database. Specify the database name, user, and password for the APM database. Review the database configuration summary. In the WebView settings window, accept the default HTTP port and WebView Enterprise Manager host and port. Here 8083x as a WebView port and 5003x as a WebView Enterprise Manager port. Select No to continue without configuring the WebView as a Windows service. Review the WebView pre-installation summary and then click Install to continue with the installation. Click Done to finish the installation. This completes the installation of collectors. You have now learned how to install an Enterprise Manager collector of CAAPM 10.0 in a clustered environment.